Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, I just want to say thank you once again for clicking on this video. But as you see in the title, guys, as you saw in the title, let's look at schemes. Madden 19 schemes versus Madden 18 schemes. And what are the differences? And I have a few questions that I was asking myself. So that's why I'm doing the video to get you guys input on what you think. Boom, let's go look at the depth chart real quick. Let's go to roster. All right. Now, let's look at Jordan Reed. You know what? Let's yeah, let's look at let's start with the quarterback position. Let's look at Alex Smith. Let's click on Alex Smith. He's a 92 overall in the game. And you guys might say in the comment section, how did how, how did you get Alex Smith? Guys, I just edited him. I just I just edit Kirk Cousins and put in Alex Smith. That's all. All right. As you can see, if we look at his uh, player type, he's a pocket passer quarterback. He's a pocket passer, right? Okay, now, and when we look at his development trait, he is normal. This player earns XP at an average rate, okay? Now, he's a pocket passer, right? Now, my point is, let's back out and go to schemes. Let's go to coach. All right, let's go down to schemes. Now, let's go over to quarterback, and it's on pocket passing. It's matching up. Because what I want to, the reason why I'm surprised is Madden matching up, because I didn't look at my schemes in Madden 18. I think I looked at them in Madden 17, but I didn't really look at the schemes in Madden 18. But my question is, guys, I'll get to that in a second. Okay, so he's matched up. Now, let's go to a different player you know let's look at uh let's see let's look at my center let's look at spencer long he's an overall 78 which sucks right okay let's look at his player type he's out of nebraska he's a zone blocking center a zone blocking center now his ex his development trait is slow, obviously. He's only but he, he's he's moving up. He's overall 79. He's moving up. Moving on up. <laughs> Alright, guys. Now he's a zone blocking center, right? Now let's go look at the schemes. Now I'm gonna get to my question in a minute. We're talking about Madden 19 schemes versus Madden 18 schemes. Now let's go look at our center scheme here. Center, zone blocking. Wow, it matched up. It matched up. So is it matching up because of default? But the one thing you gotta understand is it's not gonna match up once you, you go to free agency, you grab a player without knowing what kind of scheme he's, he's coming into or what type of player type he is to match up with the scheme. You see what I'm saying? But my question is, guys, does it really matter in Madden 18? They say it matters in Madden 19 because of the player archetype, right? You, you want to match their archetypes up based on the team scheme, right? Because he's going to progress further in XP versus not being in the right scheme. He's going to progress slower. Okay? So that's my question. Does it really matter in Madden 18 or is it just cosmetic? We know he's a uh, uh, our center is a zone blocker, but let's say I, let's say I change him to pass blocker. Would that affect his X, earning XP, and would that affect him as far as him playing on the field? Because we we saw he was a zone blocker, but if I put him on pass blocker as a scheme, he doesn't match the scheme. Does that affect him on the field, or is this just cosmetic when we're talking about player player uh, types? and schemes that is my question guys so let me know in the comment section does it really matter in madden 18 we say it's supposed to matter supposed to matter in madden 19 when we look at archetypes how they progress and de and, 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 and digress right they're going to progress better if you put them in the same scheme as their archetype all right now let's back out for a second those are the questions that I have, guys. I was thinking about that when I was thinking about Madden 19 schemes. I was like, wait a minute. Let me go look at some Madden 18 schemes and see how this thing is flowing. 
Let's look at another player, man. Let's look at another player. Uh, let's look at Josh Norman as a, as a cornerback here. He is a zone cornerback. That is his trait. His trait is a zone cornerback. But he has a development trait as quick. This player earns XP at an above average rate, which is quick. He's a zone cornerback, guys. Zone. Okay, now, let's go back to schemes. Let's see what I have in there. Let's go this way. Cornerback number one. Now, this says balanced. This says balanced, but he's... It's not matching up with him as being a zone cornerback. Let's see what the options are. Prototype. Now, a prototype um, cornerback weigh the overall more towards speed, strength, and acceleration. Now, there is zone. There is zone right there. Zone cor cornerbacks weigh the overall more towards zone coverage and play recognition. But what I'm saying is I didn't have him on zone, right? He, it, this, this, this scheme wasn't matching up with his zone player type or we can say archetype but what it doesn't matter guys is this zone stuff really matters does it really matter what his player trait was we know he's a zone cornerback but it was on balanced and it's saying Josh Norman is not a balanced cornerback his player trait was zone so let's put it on zone. And guys, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do it here on the video. I'm going to go through every player and match their player trait up with the scheme and see if, it, if we get better results as far as how much we increase XP. Because you know, a lot of people that do CM, CFM say the XP, and the, the XP progression is slow and there's not enough XP. So people do their own XP sliders, right? Everybody does their own XP sliders. But what if we put the right trait with the right scheme? Will that make it better? Will it match up? It says uh, Josh Norman was a, uh, what was his uh, development trait? Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay. All right, Josh Norman, his development trait is quick. So, we had him on the wrong scheme, right? It said he was a balance versus a zone cornerback. Now, would that affect his XP earning ability if he's not matching up with the scheme? You see what I'm saying? Does it really matter in Madden 18? Uh, uh, is all of this stuff zine, the scheme, and, and player uh, type cosmetic? Is it just cosmetic or does it affect the game? I would say no, but we never know, guys. We never know. You know, they might say some of the players. They might say 10%. They might say something. We're not at that level yet. But I'm going to DM Clint Oldenburg and ask him, does the scheme and player type really matter in Madden 18? You would think no, since they're coming out with these archetypes for Madden 18 talking about schemes and archetypes right the archetypes have to match the scheme right that's the that is the promotion in mad 19 where archetypes where players actually play to their archetype and they have to match your scheme so in my CFM right now if I, if I go to the NFL draft do I need to get players to match the scheme or do I get the scheme to match the players or do I go in and change the scheme once I get the players but either way you do it does it really matter in Madden 18 that's all I want to know guys maybe you guys know maybe you don't know I don't know but I was thinking about that today so I decided to do a video on it to get you guys input does it really matter when we look at his zone cornerback rate trait or player type versus the scheme let's go look at one more player man let's look at middle linebacker Zach Brown he's an overall 87 been in the league for six years out of North Carolina I'm gonna love watching him this year man in the NFL okay it says he's a balanced middle linebacker balanced and he has a normal development trait 
So let's back out and go look at the scheme and see what his scheme says for his position or for his player type. They say he's a balanced middle linebacker, but let's see what the scheme says and see if we all matched up here. Middle linebacker number one, that says a 3-4 tackler. The scheme is way off. Even though Washington has a 3-4 defense, attacking defense, right? But it's not matching up its balance. Now let's, let's look at the options. Prototype, balanced. Now it's matching up to where he was. Now since I didn't have it matched up, because like I said, I did not look at the schemes this year, Madden 18, does it really matter? It's on balance now because he's a balanced middle linebacker. We looked at his pit player trait, but it was on 3-4 tackler. Does it matter? Or if it doesn't matter, does it affect his, his rate of earning XP? Will he earn XP? He's going to earn XP, guys. We know that. But if I put it where he's balanced, that matches his player type, will he achieve more XP versus being a 3-4 tackler? Does it matter? Is he still going to get the same rate of XP? Or will he get more XP if we match the trait versus this player uh, scheme? That's what I want to know, guys. Does this stuff really work in Madden 18? Or is it just cosmetic? It's just something that we can do, kind of get us involved, but it really doesn't matter what scheme or what player type we put into this scheme. Right? Does it matter or does, uh, doesn't it? Or does the XP increase better if you're in the right scheme versus player trait? Does it? We said it's supposedly supposed to work in Madden 19. I'm excited to really dig into it and find out. Because we're never going to know until we get the complete game. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, I'm interested in seeing what you guys do say in the comment section. Um, I don't know if as many of you guys really do we really know if it affects. If you guys do and you're watching the video, let me know in the comment section. Give me some kind of explanation of what you think or how it works. Because I'm really interested in knowing. Like I said, I'm going to send uh, Clint Oldenburg a tweet today and see what he says about this. All right, guys. And hopefully... It, even if it don't work in Madden 19, we want it to work in Madden 19, right? We want it to work, guys. Where the schemes match the player type, archetypes, and all that kind of stuff. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys understood what I was trying to say. Hit that like button and join the team of Hollywood Sports, guys. It's free. You have nothing to lose. Come and hang out with Hollywood. See what the type of videos Hollywood's put, putting out, guys. Comment. Give me, give me your suggestions, guys. There's a lot of smart guys out here in the community. Let me know what you think, and as always, hopefully, I will see everybody on my next video. And remember, guys, get on up.